Hello Gearspace, this is Urs from Yuhi and uh, I'm going to show you what I'm working on at the moment because it's not finished yet but it does almost look like something that could be usable and if you have a quick look here so this is our new Zebralet 3 so it's the new incarnation of Zebra which used to be our, you know, we are, this is how we started right with Zebra and um, there has been Zebra 2 for a very long time and now we're working on Zebra 3. And the thing about Zebra 2 has always been that you can create your own waveforms and your MSEGs and back in the days in Zebra 2 these, all of these editors were all very different and, and um, they didn't work the same and some had you had to right click to set a point and the other one you had to use a control key or a command key or something and so we wanted to unite all these different approaches and mold it into one that works consistently across the whole plugin and um, it is still a long way to go there for the full Zebra 3 so we do a Zebralet which is just an oscillator and an MSEG and a little bit of surrounding stuff and I can show now here are the normal editors like really just like you used to use them or you know like they always were and they're as simple as they've always been and but you can zoom now and all of that and you can also go a little bit deeper and for going deeper we have decided to do two approaches one is the the most simple possible waveform editor you can have where you just drag these shapes to whatever you want and they automatically turn into whatever direction you drag them and you can have this thing and you can have you can have such a thing and it's really really quick and really really simple to actually create a waveform but you can also use it for the envelope for the MSEG and we think this approach with this grid people have seen that before in, in many other synths but we, we, we did it slightly differently and it's all based on splines and because it's based on splines instead of just samples or wavetables uh, we can do crazy things with it and we can go a lot deeper in editing and that is the the second page here here you have editing tools like you would normally expect in a CAD uh, environment or in a in a professional graphics design tool like um, you can you can take for instance, um, let's say you can take this and you can multiply it or um, you can take this tool here and you can you can squeeze things here and there and you can set constraints and you can paint new things. You can make new points everywhere and loads more points than what used to be in Zebra and you can have um, multi-selection for instance. Wait, let me just get this tool. You can have multi-selection and do a lot of things at once and all of this is very deep and you can you can do anything imaginable so to speak almost anything imaginable that you can do with waveforms and they're really useful tools to do really useful things and the other thing you can do with this is you can morph waveforms because that's what it is all about that waveforms go from one shape to another and if i quickly quickly uh, uh, put the microphone some oh, I can keep it in my hand but ah yeah you can take it and then I can just also play it I press this button here so you can you can actually morph these waveforms and there are different ways to to um, to have one curve attached to the other curve and so you get different kinds of morphs and this might be a, a slightly strange example and I have better examples for that like um, the normal stuff which is like from sawtooth to triangle and back or from triangle to square and back or from square to pulse which is like pulse width modulation right so and this all works just the normal way like like you would expect from any synthesizer and I can just also quickly quickly play this and of course it currently doesn't work and I'm 
It's because somebody had the mod wheel up there. So with the mod wheel I can go through the waveforms and you see that I have only painted four waveforms here but the, 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 um, the movement between the waveforms is continuous. Right, it's it's very it's very soft, very smooth, and um, yeah, and that is the point of it. You can quickly draw waveforms, and you can just morph between them. Sometimes it works very well. Sometimes you have to add a little bit of work into it, and sometimes, sometimes, or well, sometimes it just doesn't work at all. But um, so it's sometimes it sounds like a little bit like, but maybe some people like that as well, right? So. And um, another thing you can do is, if I find the right documents, ah, oh, here they are, these are samples, and I have to press this somehow. And I did something, what did I do? Um, ah, here. I can, take, I can take waveforms directly and drop them on this, on this editor, or I can also take uh, longer samples, which are then analyzed and created into a whole table of of different shapes that are when we have different import this is still a little bit experimental but and then when you go through it it actually also sounds a little it resembles the original uh, sample that you had even though before it was maybe uh, two seconds long and now we just take the five or the ten best cycles and the software automatically finds out which are the best cycles and where to put them and um, uh, sometimes it works quite easily to also then morph and it sounds the same but it's not really like resynthesis where where you expect like the, the, the result to be perfect it's more of a creative tool to quickly create uh, wave tables and morphing waveforms and all that and the thing about it is that you can also export all of these things and you can um, you can create wave tables for other synthesizers with it and um, yeah so this is like the main main i would say like like body of work that is going into zebra 3 and um, if you want I, there's also behind it is of course the oscillator which plays these waveforms and um, i just go to or I could make this a little bit brighter, like maybe like this. So this is a bright waveform, and um, and then in the in the oscillator, I can set like a number of voices and detune, and I make it a little bit quieter. So you have all this um, super super saw kind of stuff, and uh, like you know as you would expect and um, but we also always have these uh, oscillator effects and for instance there is one uh, or there's a lot of them and they're like uh, more or less finished and one is quite interesting that's the spectral noise and it sounds like this so it all it sounds almost like super saw but it's um it's it, it doesn't there is there is no phasing at all whatsoever it's just it's just uh, a diffuse kind of random phase something thing, which I think sounds quite nice. And you can combine it with another one, like this one is called Spars, and it takes, it randomly takes harmonics out. This is just one oscillator with without uh, super saw or anything, and it it has this this um, breathy kind of thing or a glassy kind of thing that's um, uh, maybe not really expected from a wavetable synthesizer. And then you can have another thing, um, which I which I'm gonna show, and instead of uh, using like this wavetable thing with the super saw thing and everything, we also have an additive mode. It's currently it says zero and one, but it will say um, wavetable and additive, and one is going to be additive. And then you can have up to 1,000 uh, sine oscillators, and if you don't do anything, it still sounds the same. But we have to look back here, and here in this in the editor, you can have multiple types of curves, and this curve is a guide curve. We call it a guide curve. 
and with this curve I can set the detuning of the harmonics and it sounds a little bit crazy I have to I have to give you the And, and again, I can combine this with any of the oscillatory effects that we had before. Like I could use, for instance, I could use a sync, right? And oh, there's even an envelope on it. So let's see that what it does. Oh, it doesn't do much. That is unfortunate, but you see, it does all of these things. It, it can be combined, and there's a, there's a lot of potential to do really crazy stuff and really good stuff and it can sound really good and can sound really beautiful and mellow and all of that it can sound really aggressive um, it can do literally anything one could ever do with zebra and then a lot more and um, so this thing which is going to be zebra led the one zebra australia the one zebra mseg is going to be just like zebra led 2 or zebra led as we had it it's going to be free and we hope to have it ready sometime this year i cannot promise anything of course but i'm a developer so i'm super optim uh, opti opti optimistic as developers always are but so 90 percent is done the last 10 percent need another 90 percent of the time as we know but um we think it's going to be there sometime this year and it is going to be free and we hope that people will embrace it and create strangely out of this world wavetables with it and morphing spline based morphing seamless continuously evolving things and uh, hopefully also musical things and make great music with it and um, yeah, use it to make great things for other synthesizers and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully if then sometime later once we're done with all the other things that are needed for Zebra 3 everybody will go and say now Zebra 3 fantastic is going to have four of these oscillators and four of these MSCGs and um, they already know it and yeah, because we gave them a free version beforehand and I hope they like it and um, I think now I said most of what I wanted to say and yeah, I hope you like, you like too what I just said.